that, I mean, there's nothing inside of you that's saying that you have unfinished business with him. You no, know, God gave me peace uh, about the whole thing. I ended yeah. up having uh, spiritual fathers that um, kind of filled the void for a while. I don't talk to them too much anymore, but they filled the gap. And another thing that they teach, they taught me is I've been abandoned so many times by male figures. And I feel like a lot of people live through that, man. There's There's a lot of kids now that just get left behind. And that's a terrible mm -hmm. feeling or like a new man yeah. will come like like if there's a single mother, something painful mm -hmm. that I see is, you know, there's going to be a man that comes into the life and maybe they're there for two, three, four years. And then he leaves and then the kid sits there kind of thinking about, Wonder you what? know, yeah, did I do something? Did I yeah. do that or was I not good enough? And they they can't really situate that there was that there was a relationship between the uh, like Adults. their mom mm -hmm. and then the boyfriend. And they they just see it as like this guy's coming in as like an adoptive dad. And then now he's leaving me. Um, and when I was working and volunteering in the juvenile detention centers, I had a lot of kids that opened up to me about that and having the same kind of problems that they feel this abandonment. They don't know how to get out. They, they act out all kinds of ways. They try different things to ignore it. And I mean, I see the pain from a lot of younger kids and, you know, I went through it so I could relate to them a little bit, but yeah, at this point, I feel like God kind of delivered me from it. I don't have any, I don't harbor any ill will towards the guy. I wish him and his family the best. You know. Wow, you have peace.